I remember yeah. leaping up and then got down. Yes. And punched you. And then I said, this is going to happen every time I see you. This is not happening presents Fisticuffs. If you've never been to the show before, and it's just a bunch of comics telling fun stories about real shit that happened. Mr. Steve Renazizi, everybody, let him hear it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Um, so, uh, my fight story happened to two of my very good friends at the time uh, Ari Shafir and Bobby Lee. So. <laughs> Considering Ari's here, why don't we bring Ari up on stage so that Ari can sort of help us along with, as one of the parties. One of the parties. Are we going to get a mic over here? So um, let me just p paint a little picture for you. I don't know if any of you have been to the comedy store, but it's a dank little, you got to walk up these dark steps. You don't really know what you're going into. It it's looks, dank. Yeah, really. So I'm in this booth selling the tickets. And Ari is the first comedian on that night, so he was on stage, and the second comedian is now on stage. And uh, and what was what were you you were venting to me about what? Probably about my breakup. Yes, your breakup. Yes. you were very upset about I your breakup. I was very upset. I had broken up with Natasha Leggero. Yes, and I was very upset about it. You were really, really upset. I about wasn't it. done playing with my toy. Yeah. <laughs> and when baby doesn't get his bottle, baby gets angry. And now, does the baby then deflect anger <laughs> towards other people? Well, it's not baby's fault. <laughs> it's never baby's fault. Okay. So uh, I'm listening to Ari uh, now vent to me about his breakup and why he thinks the breakup is happening. And his main reason is he's deflecting all his anger onto Bobby Lee. Bobby Lee. So who shows up at the cover booth but Bobby Lee? So why don't we bring Bobby up on stage? Bobby, Bobby Lee. Lee. <laughs> Bobby Lee, gotta <laughs> <laughs> Can I just yep. say something? I'm yes. small. Sure. I'm small. <laughs> yes. I'm little. I have no muscles on my body. But and fat, fat hides muscle. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> fat hides muscle. You could That's be. True. That's true. That's yeah, true. Yeah, you okay. can have muscles underneath yeah, the fat. Yeah, yeah. It's like the thing. So I show up to the comedy store and yes. I, I have to check in with Steve. Now, can I ask you a question? Sure, you can ask. Who me got you the want. fucking job there? <laughs> Bobby got me the job at the comedy store. Oh, exactly. exactly. And later, okay. that information is to be clear because he betrays me. I don't betray <laughs> You fucking betray me. Anyway, I got him a job there. Who helped you out in the beginning? Uh, who got me a commercial agent? Yeah. The only thing that got me by in the business for over seven years? Yes. Bobby Lee did. Bobby Thank Lee you did. so much. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. So basically, I'm a who? dream weaver. You're a dream weaver. Yeah. A dream weaver, Bobby. Thank you. A dream so, weaver. So I check in at the comedy store. That's yes. what you're supposed to do. So I'm talking <laughs> to Ari. So through, I'm talking to Ari through the window, and Bobby comes up and stands right next to Ari and goes, can I talk to you? No, 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 no. First of all, you have to understand that while I was being broken up with, <laughs> a Bobby knew that the dude that was, like, trying to move in on my territory, and he fucking showed him love letters constantly that they were going back and forth. He was showing now, that all the time at work, so was I was just mad at you for not helping. Time. Okay, shut the fuck up for a second, okay? okay. <laughs> he came to the comedy store, yeah. right, to see me perform. Yeah. Then he went upstairs to the belly room, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Natasha was performing. I like how you turn. You shut the, the fuck up, okay. all right? <laughs> okay. And he goes, wow, she's hot. I go, whatever, He's, she, she's dating my friend Ari, yeah. right? I went down to do my uh, set, and he had asked her out. Okay. This is two, three weeks before he beats the shit out of me. Yeah, no, yeah, so yeah. this is what happens. I check in with you. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah. Then I see Ari in back of me, right? And I go, hey, dude, what's going on? Because I'm a nice guy. Yeah, I go, hey, I go, yeah. What? Yes, I, yes. Had I not already told you that I never want to talk to you yes, again. Yes, that was the thing. And please stay away from me from forever. Okay, but we're friends still, right? He never said, we're not friends. No. Wait. <laughs> Hey, I don't ever want to talk to you again. I think he, but we're he still was, buddies. No, he was saying he didn't want to talk to you anymore, and you kept trying to, you know, defend yourself. I go, hey, let's talk, and you're like, I don't ever want to talk to no, you. No, again. no, 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 no. You said this in that fucking Bobby Lee way. You go, can I just tell you one thing? Yeah. Can I just, can I just tell you one thing? Can I just tell you one thing? Can I just tell you one thing? And I, I fucking thing? hated um, you. Yeah. All right. 
So Ari, I saw his eyes roll in the back of his head, and he could not tell him one more thing. Right. Because Ari turned around with a closed fist and hit Bobby so hard in the head that I just watched them go out of my frame, down to the ground. Yes. Now, I, yeah. now I'm kind of blacked out. You know how you get hit and you see this? That's what happens. Right? <laughs> and every time I'd open my eyes, I'd see a foot coming to my face. <laughs> I kicked, I so kicked him a lot. I kicked foot, a lot. Foot! <laughs> yeah. Now this fucker. No, no, no. no let okay, me, go ahead. Okay. Move on. So I stick my head out of the booth to see what's happening down here. And what did you see? Bobby, saw, like a potato bug, <laughs> curled up. Bam! And Ari just laying haymakers down. And now I have a decision to make. These are my two friends fighting. I could break this up and go through this tiny little window and break this up. Or I could take the long way around, <laughs> all the way around outside, and see what I see when I get out there. Okay, so if I you take speed the long walk, way. If you speed rock around that corner, it takes 10 seconds. <laughs> Stops. No. Pops. It took five fucking minutes. <laughs> he watched for a while. You did watch for a while. You I remember turning back thinking, like, is Steve going to break this up? Yeah. <laughs> I guess not. I guess it's my time. No, because when I came out, Ari was just like De Niro in the yeah. <laughs> Bam! Bam! And at this point... He didn't we're fight still... back. It was so unrewarding. No. He didn't fight back. We, we are still running a professional comedy show. There's oh, a yeah. man performing comedy inside for 11 people, and that man has no idea what's happening outside. So at that point, he goes, or, ladies or and gentlemen, <laughs> the next comedian, Mr. Bobby Lee. And what do I do? What do I do? Pops up, runs into the room, on stage like nothing has happened. Do you know why? I'm a fucking professional. I'm a fucking professional. You gotta do your spot. You gotta do your spot. You no gotta do your what. spot, man. You had a mouse under your eye. Oh yeah. He was bleeding on stage. People were staring. And at one it was point, getting he, worse. You saying it was getting worse he, as he, he was up there? Yeah, he was. His <laughs> eyes started swelling up. <laughs> All right. So um, <laughs> may, may I say something now? Sure. Sure. May I say Bobby something? Reed, yes. Sure. <laughs> so, you know, when you go through an experience like that, you think it's over, right? No. Was it over? <laughs> oh, no. Because a week later, he tried to choke me to death. <laughs> no, no. I mean, I, shut I, the fuck up. I, I, okay. Right, right, go ahead. I had my hand on your throat, and then you moved forward. <laughs> and took it, just for control, I, sh I like Darth Vader, but, but I actually had to <laughs> yeah, touch yeah. you. I was just like, no. And then a week later, what happened after that? So that he attacked me twice, third week now. Tell him, tell him what happened. Uh, I had a, gotten a job on the show Mind of Mencia, and I got a part, and Ugh. then, and, yeah, oh right, God, I did that just... before. And then, like, a few days later, I didn't have the part anymore, and because I heard from around the comedy store, Dave Mishevitz and all these people said, I heard Bobby called his friend Mencia and got uh, you taken uh, out of the job. Uh, can I tell you the story? Yes. Don't ever point your fingers Sorry. at me. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Carlos calls me and goes, hey, bro, I was on the road. I already auditioned for my show. I didn't know. The producers gave him the job. And then when I came back to the town, I realized he was doing it. And I called him personally and said, you can't do the job because... Call me personally? Yeah, did he do that? <laughs> no, of course well, not. Well, that's what he said. I never yeah. called him. Okay. Why would I know that you were booked on the show? Well, maybe he said, hey, No, Ari's he never booked. did that, right? So anyway... But you were bragging about that you did. No, who, to who? To everyone. All the people. You love saying... I got Everyone. already fired. Guess what? I won one. Right. One for the uh, uh, Korean. Okay, 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 okay. Yes. Okay, okay. I did that. I did that. Okay, yes. I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. That is okay. true. Uh, 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 I want one too. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, my bad. My bad. <laughs> so uh, anyway, so I'm in the parking lot, right? Yeah. Okay. And I go. I'm just walking. And all of a sudden, I'm on the ground again. Well, yes. Because this is what you did. Yes. You went from behind me and just walked and went, no. No. Yeah, you yeah. did. You from ran behind. away. I chased after you. I was talking to Dave Mishevitz, and I yeah. saw you, and I was like, pardon me for one moment. Oh, that's right. I that's have right. to take that's care right. of something. Right. Yeah, I decided, yeah, yeah. like, next time I see you, I'm going to beat yeah. the fuck out of him. Okay, so then this is... Uh, and then I ran, you saw it turn. You're like, uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> You've seen that look before. And then I remember run, And then I, I couldn't Over. reach it, so I Superman punched. <laughs> I remember yeah. leaping up and then got down. Yes. And punched you. In the face. You did the, the potato face. bug again. Yes. And then I said, this is going to happen every time I see you. That's right. <laughs> That's what he did say that. He did say that. Yeah. He did say that. Yeah. And I remember this. I go to the office, right? Now I'm going to call the police. Yeah, yeah. Right. I got the advance warning. Fuck you, Steve. Steve. Focus. Okay. <laughs>
I'm about to call the police. I'm dialing the number. You know what you did? You unplugged the phone. Yeah, I know. Do you know why? Why? You didn't want him to be in prison for the weekend. Because <laughs> that's on a Friday. Oh, yeah, yeah that's it was a yeah. Friday. Fuck you. To... All right? Why? He should have gone to jail for he that. He should have gone to jail three, three times in a row. He bit me up. <laughs> <laughs> what the? I let two of them go. <laughs> two beatings. I said, oh, no. And then the third one, I had to do something. <laughs> I was going to fucking die. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Steve told me to get when out of my apartment. When you put it like that, yeah. Yes, I guess you're right. yes. Yeah, yeah that yeah. does seem fair. Yeah. And then I didn't, I didn't talk to you for a while. Every time I saw you, four I was years. Like, four years. And every time you, every time you'd be in a conversation, I would come up and be like, "Oh, what's the liar telling you? Are you lying to people? Like you always do, you lot, you dumb liar." You know what you say? You just say you're dumb. Yeah. You're the <laughs> dumbest Asian in the world. I know it got yeah. to you. How do you survive? Remember you say that? You, how do you survive in the world? You're dumb. <laughs> And I'm talking to a chick trying to get laid, yeah. right? And I just go, I'm dumb. I have to say that for him. Pick me up. Yeah. Wait, can I just, how, here's how we resolved it. You want to hear that, guys? Yeah. A uh, result by this. One day I'm just watching TV and I get a phone a call from Ari, and you just basically said, "Let's just squash it." Yeah. I saw you in the fr I saw you in the front front of the cover booth one day, and you were talking to like a few friends of mine, people I knew, but I didn't have the energy to like go and like embarrass you again. It takes a <laughs> while. You gotta like, like, how am I gonna get to him today? You know, and I was, and I was like, what am I doing? I'm hurting my own life just for the sake of this fucking feud that I don't even care about anymore. But I didn't do anything. I know, I know, I know, I know. You know, so I'm just glad that we're, you know. Yeah, me too. I was mad at Natasha for a very long time, come Natasha. Here, come, come here, Natasha. Come on up here, Natasha. You're here, come, come on. on give here. Natasha a round of applause, everybody. I don't know if we have a fourth mic. I felt bad about calling her she. By the way, yeah. Ari, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was... It's an off, but I'll just use whatever. <laughs> Bobby, first of all, Bobby did not set me up with that guy. But... Yeah? Bobby, all of a sudden, didn't make eye contact with me for four years. Do you know why, uh, Natasha? You never said anything. I know, and I'd see you at the improv and you'd look down. <laughs> and, you, and I'd be like, hi. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I, did you tell Nata him? Did yeah, you Natasha, tell him I'm a human being and I didn't know how to react and I'm immature, right? And I didn't know how to treat you, right? Because I felt like I blamed it on you, this whole thing, and I apologize. Can, oh, we, yeah. can we say what happened to me though at the comedy store? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm this sitting at the comedy store Here, like a year later with my friend. She gets up to go and then all of a sudden, <laughs> Someone pours a drink on my oh. head. Yeah, oh. I had and a glass of friend, ice water. With the ice still the in the ice. I remember yeah. the and ice. ice is still in there. He back. whipped it at her in her face. Remember that? You whipped. I think I and think. And my friend I was comes back <laughs> from the bathroom and she's like, why does your ponytail have no more volume? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, because Ari just threw a drink on my head. I did the same thing. I was and like, said, real clear. You about don't it. belong here. Ooh. No, that's not all I said. <laughs> I said, you don't belong here, cunt. <laughs> I remember saying that. I'm sorry. I Is am this sorry. this comedy? This feels comedy like some <laughs> kind of like group therapy session. Hey, uh, let's, let's wrap this up with a group yeah. hug. But then can oh, I... Yeah. <laughs> that was a nice moment. Also, Ari, I will say, was very good in bed. So nice of you. you didn't have to do that. Thank you. Steve Renazizi, everybody. Wasn't that a great story? And also, of course, Natasha, uh, Natasha Legero, Bobby Lee, and myself, Ari Shafir, for helping him with the story. Thanks, Bobby Lee, for eventually getting talked into doing it. That's the story. Uh, last week, I asked you to leave your comments about the places you would live if you had to live anywhere in the world. Um, and here's a really cool one for that. Thank you. Next week, let's have some fun. Just leave who you think is right and who you think is wrong and why in the comments section of this uh, video. Next week, we have Jeff Dye telling one of the greatest stories you'll ever hear. Till then, don't forget to click on the Reddit link to join in the conversation. Use the hashtag, this is not happening on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. Follow Steve Ranazizi and Bobby Lee Live and Natasha Legero. See you next Tuesday, everybody, with Jeff Dye.